So here I am finishing the setup of the, our first beehive. I actually um, uh, found this box, which actually fits really well on top. Actually, it could move over a little bit um, as a kind of a base. And ultimately, who knows, it could actually become um, um, a bee, a hive, you know, uh, for bees itself, kind of the base. Um, but initially, we're going to uh, set it up uh, like this. It's a little longer, but this extender here, this is the base. The bees land here, walk up, and go inside right here. Um, this is a small extender to help them protect their hive. When they get bigger, you can open this up. Um, you want it off the ground, so there's some air flowing through. There's a hole there. Um, and it's on a base support. I got these bricks. I actually put these. I actually need to get two more. I'm gonna lift it up higher um, and get up a little bit higher. If you don't know what a beehive, here's the roof. The roof comes off. Actually, there's a piece here that should be should have come out here. Well, that's great. This stuff is still kind of sticky, but um, there's a way for the bees to come in here. All right, so the bees could actually land, crawl up in here, go in here, and uh, go in here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have varnished this, but I did. Um, and then uh, here are the, where the bees make the honey. I don't have the wire and the thing in yet. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to um, cover these. You know, I still have a lot of questions. I don't know if I'm supposed to varnish these or not. I don't think I do. Um, they don't see they shouldn't get wet or anything else um, even though they may be susceptible to, um, to termites so if you know am I supposed to like varnish these <laughs> and uh, ultimately this one comes off and this this one here there's another one here right this is the lower and if this will come up I got it glue. Damn thing. Okay. And that's the vase. The whole idea here, one, this stops enemies from flying up, right? This protects it. So if the wasps want to do a, 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 a rear attack, I mean a bottom attack, they can't. They can't get through. The other thing is, is um, this mesh is for the mites that are on the bees to fall off and fall through. There's actually a board that goes in here to keep track, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, as you can see, there's good air circulation up, you know, up to it. And uh, obviously you can change the size when the bees become stronger, bigger. You can make the big opening and then you can eventually take it away when they become, mids, you know, full-fledged. So uh, this here are the parts of a beehive. Look at all this bee food. Acres and acres, bee food. Bee food. There's water for them down here. They can hit the wall, walk down the water, get their fill, come back. There's a garden over there. The bees will help those gardeners with uh, their vegetables and stuff. There's a little community garden over there. Um, and there's this, you know, all around food. Tons of food for the bees. Got an empty house here. It's available free rent if you know any bees. And we'll be getting bees. I'd like the bees now, but the people who have the bees won't sell them to me till uh, March. So I gotta wait till March. Unless you can help me find bees in Japan, and I'd love to get the bees in here and have them. You know, they could be building up right now, laying eggs, getting stronger. There's no wind. They can grab whatever's left of this pollen, you know, that's out there, and uh, make a little feast. I'm actually, I'm gonna think what I'm gonna do is also plant wildflowers all along here. So we're gonna plant wildflowers. I'm just gonna get seed and throw it out here. There's like those wildflowers down here. There's all this potential. And then we got all this side here. All that I'm gonna mow it down, and we'll put bees there. So I'm gonna be. In, I'm gonna take care of this here as my work. Um, and it's they're far enough, you know, from uh, from the temples. As you can see, I put them here because there's, you know, they're not close. So if the guys are working on their fields, it's not gonna affect them and everything else. So hope you enjoyed this little talk. My name is Michael Trout. And this is launching a startup in a foreign con 
tree as a foreigner. So if you're interested in you know launching a startup in China or Japan, guess what? Follow my talks because I'm doing it here.